Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Disturbing Puppet. So today we're going to continue my Imperial Guard campaign of Warhammer 40,000 Gladius Relics of War. Um, things are going relatively okay, I guess. We'll kind of check. It's been about five days since I played. It feels like it's been a really long time. I'm um, just kind of re myself with what's going on. Um, I have wiped out the orcs. We are kind of stuck between the Space Marines and the Necrons. Um, I am green, so we started up here. This is my capital. This is kind of my starting position. Uh, we expanded a bit out here to the right. We had some tiles that are really good for ore production, which is something I don't really have near my capital. So this city is mainly just doing ore production because I really want to go for a big armored um, Imperial Guard force, lots of artillery and tanks and stuff, but I uh, haven't really gotten there quite yet. The next thing I need to do is start improving my production uh, by building an additional um, a manufactorum, which will speed up my building production, or not building, but vehicle production. Um, right now I can build basilisks. I'm researching the Lehman Russ battle tank. Once I get that stuff, we'll be in a much better spot, especially since we're fighting uh, kind of hardier foes now with the space marines. Um, unfortunately, kind of going down through all this forest, what we did was we sort of expanded and looked around, and we kind of came down here, found a bunch of space marine stuff, checked it out, and ended up stuck between Necrons over here on the right and the Space Marines over here on the left. Space Marines had kind of expanded out. Looks like they might have been fighting the Necrons down here somewhere. Um, my force ended up fighting everybody, so we've got units kind of spread around all over the place. Um, I think I've done all my unit movement already. I've left some people in Overwatch positions here and stuff. Um, I think I'm working on a character as well. I'll have to double check. Uh, so we kind of we sort of expanded into here, grabbed this stuff. Necron started showing up. We killed off a couple of units, and they sort of retreated back, came back again, killed off units, they retreated back. Um, what I'm doing now is sort of recentering and moving my units back down to hold on to this. Uh, this artifact is a mobile hollow projector, so it'll increase the health of all my units uh, if I control it. So I've had control of it for a while, but now the Space Marines are kind of coming after it. Um, so we've got some units here we're trying to deal with. So I'm going to pull all of these forces over, mostly just infantry, heavy weapon squads, and try to hold on to this. I have another force that kind of crazily is attacking the Space Marine capital. Um, we sort of tried to pull back a little bit to get away from the Space Marines to heal up a bit, but then we unfortunately ran into a bunch of Crude Hounds here. Um, I'm kind of afraid my Hydra here, this uh, guard squad, uh, these guys are kind of in bad positions, and these Crude Hounds are probably going to wipe out Probably my Hydra, maybe a couple other units as well. Not super happy about that, but not much I can do about it quite yet. Um, I've got some Tech Priests moving down. They're able to repair vehicles. Um, vehicles repair by themselves super slow, so I wanted to get some of them up and running as quick as possible. We can also research something with them eventually that'll let me build little fortifications, so that might be quite useful later on. But before I do anything else, let me check and make sure the stream looks like it's working all right. That looks fine, that looks fine, so hopefully everything's good. I do apologize for the delay getting back to this. I have thought about this quite a bit and what I want to do. Um, I just wasn't able to get back to it recently. So in the capital, we've got uh, Hab Block in two turns, so that will increase my population capacity. We're kind of maxed out right now. Working on another Basilisk very slowly, heavy weapon squad in a couple turns. We'll have a Commissar in a couple turns, so that's what we've got on the way. Um, Overall production is okay. I've got a ton of food. There's not a lot of food coming in now, but that's okay. Energy will probably need to up soon. I'd like to get my research up higher. Uh, we do have a decent amount of ore coming in now, thanks to my other city. And out here, what are we doing? Grabbing a tile. So I think this was 40%, yeah, 40% more, 40% more ore, and also this tile, I think, is 40%. Yeah, 40% more ore here as well. So what I want to do is just kind of make this uh, ore production facility. We'll probably throw a block in to get my population up, and then also a manufactorum so we can make vehicles here too. And other than that, we're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place here with the Space Marines on one side, the Necrons on the other. Um, these poor guys here are probably in a bit of trouble as well. I think there's a Dreadnought hanging out somewhere out here. So things could be worse, but they're not great at the moment. I'm definitely worried about these crude hounds here. So let's hit it, see what happens. Hopefully the Hydra survives. Just barely, but a lot of other stuff's going on. It's not showing me. 
Oh, well, some Necrons coming back with the here Lord there. We've got quite a big Space Marine force going after the mobile holo projector, it looks like. Some units are super close to death. Let's see here. Predator attacked heavy weapon squad. This heavy weapon squad? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Land speeders attacked Sentinel. Heavy weapon squad did a little bit of damage to the Lord. Heavy weapon squad did a little bit of damage to the Captain. Great Hall hit them. They're still alive. That's good. Guardsmen attacked the Lord for a tiny bit of damage. Captain attacked the Sentinel, did a good amount of damage. Bikers attacked the Sentinel for damage. Okay, so we've got quite a big force coming after the mobile holo projector here. That's a bit of a problem. I'm basically just going to leave. I don't really care about the Necrons quite so much. Here, I might want to take some shots if I want before I move them back because I'll probably lose visibility if I move. Um, the Hydra here miraculously survived. The other Kroot Hounds went this way somewhere. So let's see if we can see anything. Got no shots from here. It must be the wire weed just blocking line of sight. Doesn't look like I have shots on the Kroot Hounds either because of the forest in the way. Just gonna try to bring some support up to help out the Hydra if I can. Probably you guys are gonna be the best for that. Even though they're banged up. Got our frag grenades. Should finish them off. Down to three health. That's not great. What can we do? We've got a couple heavy weapon guys here. We can hit the Predator, but we can't actually hit the center of the Space Marine City. We can do a little bit of damage to the Predator. I guess we might as well. This unit I am going to pull back because they got pretty trashed. Hmm. I'm actually going to pull them out of the forest in case the other Kroot Hounds come back. Um, if the Kroot Hounds attack from forest position, then they basically get a free shot at you. So... We're near the edge of the map. This should be fine. Let's just go out here someplace to kind of hang out temporarily. Slowly creeping forward with my one Basilisk. That's pretty much it for forces. It'll be another turn before I get anything else coming. Alright, and out here, this is not ideal either. Kind of getting my heavy weapon squads just kind of worn down and wiped out here slowly. Got a lot of viable targets. We've only got one target though. Could do a little bit of damage to the captain. That's not too bad. I don't know if I can kill him off. Just kind of looking and seeing what stuff I can hit. Uh, sure, let's go ahead and bring you up there. Take some shots at the bikers. I'd like to wipe out units if it's at all possible. Unfortunately, I've got a lot of units that are pretty banged up. 
Let's go ahead and just weaken that guy. You guys are healing. That should be an okay position for you to stay. Uh, let's move out. You guys are also healing. They're just kind of basic infantry, so you're not going to do a whole lot of good. Uh, I guess we can leave you there healing. That's okay. You guys move out. Just sort of repositioning ourselves. You guys can't get that far, actually. Just kind of hang out and sort of guard their flank here a little bit. You can only see the captain from here, which is kind of crummy. Um, I could wipe out the land speeders here. I could almost wipe out the bikers. Do a decent amount of damage to the captain if we both shoot at him, but it's not going to be enough to kill him. This hunter is definitely going to be a problem for my armored units a little bit. The land speeders are a problem for my infantry. So if I weaken them, they'll do less damage as well. That's the other thing to keep in mind. Um, so I might be better off just mauling some units here instead of wiping out units. Uh, specifically the land speeders because of the weapons they've got. The heavy bolters will just destroy my infantry. Um, so against my better judgment, we'll just weaken the uh, land speeders here because I think they're kind of my main issue that I'm going to have to deal with as far as infantry goes. Uh, this guy's going to have to run away. Don't have a whole lot of choice about that. So let's head back up there. And I think we're going to have to move up with these guys. Unfortunately, I do more damage if I don't move. don't really like putting them in this position, but for now, Captain's going to do some damage to them. Let's finish off that land speeder. That's at least something. I think that's all my units, unfortunately. And we grab the tile. So up here, I do only have one more spot I can grow, so I'm going to need hab blocks here soon. Do I want to go ahead and do that now? Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Yeah, so we've got a spot here. That's fine. We can use that for the head blocks. Unfortunately, it's kind of slow. The only other thing I can do here would be to actually pump out another tech priest, but they do require energy as far as an upkeep, and I'm kind of running very close on energy, so I don't think I want to do that quite yet. If I had the research for them to build fortifications, then I might go ahead and do that, um, but right now they aren't going to do me a whole lot of good. I'd like to build up my energy stores if I can. So for now, unfortunately, that is it for the turn. So I'm a bit concerned here what's going to happen. We've had some more Necrons show up. A lot of combat going on. Oh, this guy's just got trashed. Oh! And wiped out. Some heavy bolters. Yeah, 
getting kind of wrecked here. It's a whole lot of combat there. Captain attacked the heavy weapon squad, did some damage. Uh, my hunter attacked the scout sentinels. Then, oh, hunter attacked my scout sentinels. Yeah. Predator attacked the heavy weapon squad up here. Heavy weapon squad attacked the Praetorians. Bikers attacked the sentinels. Vindicator attacked, probably killed them off. No, nope, Hunter killed them off. We've got some production. Yeah, I'm not sure I can hold this against this much. The Marines are really throwing everything they've got over here trying to retake this mobile hollow projector from me. It's surprising, actually. Okay, you guys stay put and heal. Guardsmen, let's grab this. Let's keep moving. Uh, how far can you get there? Let's move up. Let's see if we can repair. And back to full health, that's good. At least that's something. You guys are trashed. Let's have you heal. Still have the predator as a target here. Guess we might as well. Let's move as fast as you can. I need artillery. Weapons. I actually got a hero now, finally. So we can give him some stuff we've got. Uh, what can we do? We've got Aura of Discipline. Increase accuracy of the Commissar and adjacent allied units. Passive. Radius of only one tile. That's not that big. Bring it down. Increases armor penetration of the Lord Commissar and adjacent allied units. Lasts for one turn, plus two armor penetration. That's okay. Summary execution. Execute a squad member of an adjacent infantry unit to restore morale to nearby allied units. Okay, kind of crazy. I guess we'll go with the Aura of Discipline. Try to bring it down a little bit. Increase the Aura of Discipline. So what do I have up here? We've got increased movement. Sure. Plus one armor. Only seven health. It's quite weak. Might have to try to go to a Jakaro uh, trade spot so I can buy some stuff for him just to make him a little bit better. It's quite slow as well. Now we got the other armor plasma bracers from this Ruin of All, which I didn't notice. Produce the Heavy Weapon Squad, which I already checked. Commissar already checked. Is there anything else I can do over here? Not really. What are we going to do with this mess? Not a fan. These guys need to continue running away or they're going to die. I don't think I'm going to be able to hold on to this, at least not for very much longer. Uh, these guys are pretty trashed. If I stay here, they're definitely going to die. Let's keep doing a little bit of damage here. I 
don't really care so much about the Necrons. So let's move out. Try to get as many of my guys together in one place as possible so I can maximize my firepower. Just these basic infantry guys aren't going to do me a whole lot of good here, unfortunately. Uh, you guys are healing up. You guys are healing up. Try to sort of sneak around here through the ruins if possible. At least give me some cover to retreat if I want to. Uh, it's tempting just to take some shots, do some damage. Not actually doing as much as I'd like. These two hunters here are definitely a problem. If I stay here, we're definitely going to die. So we probably should go ahead and take off. I'm going to try to preserve my army here if possible. So we're going to lose the mobile hollow projector, which might mean some other unit will die because the health is going to drop. Do have a shot here, so I might as well take it. And you guys can only see the bikes and stuff. So let's hit the bikes, I guess. Not going well, so we're losing the mobile hall projector here probably this turn. We did build the head block, so we've now got a bit of room to grow. We do need more power. Um, I'd like to build another manufactorum as well. There's the manufactorum. I just want to see what the requirements are. So it does also give me some research, so that's sort of helpful. Requires energy though. Um, gonna have to build some more energy here. Let's just throw one out there. After that, we'll worry about other things. Uh, heavy weapon squad. Not much else I can do. Guess we can start working on another commissar. That's about it, unfortunately. More stuff showing up here. Necrons are chasing me a little bit. And there goes my last sentinel. make you pay for that. At least take out those land speeders. They didn't grab the mobile hall projector yet. Crude hounds attacked my hydra. Ah, oh, there's the crude hounds. Sight there <laughs> and move up and just grenade him, I guess is what I should do. Frag grenades to the rescue. And here, let's move in a little bit and we'll repair again. I'm 
Try to get over to the other Hydra to get that repaired as well. Got pretty good range with the Basilisk, so if I get in range here, we might be able to start just pounding the center of their city. So even though they've got a big army, it's kind of busy. So if I could take out their city while they're occupied, that would be okay. You guys stay put and heal. You guys are healing. So here, let's just continue to pound the Predator. Pretty sure there was a dreadnought here as well. We're just out of range of the center of the city. For right now, I'm going to leave them there. Um, we'll go ahead and have them heal. Hydra here is healing as well. Takes a long time though. All right, let's see if we can at least take out these land speeders. Try to keep as many units alive as possible. Four, crack, yeah, crack grenade him. Let's see if we can finish him off. Try to keep my morale intact by wiping out units if possible. Okay, you guys just creep ahead. That's not great. Might as well shoot. Got nothing else to do. Pretty ineffective, but oh well. Uh, you guys go here. Hit the Tomb Blades. Hmm. If I move up and grenade him, we can finish him off. Let's have the unit at full strength do that. Crack grenade him. I want to protect my weaker units here if I can. So let's just reposition here a little bit. And we'll hold position till healed, at least for now. Uh, you guys are banged up. I'd like to have you in a safer spot, so let's move you up before we do any uh, healing or attempted healing. I might leave them here because they've got line of sight. We'll get an overwatch shot. Everybody else, get moving. Let's take a look at the Commissar. Here is the nearest Jacaro trade encampment. We've got one on the way. We can check and see if there's anything we want to pick up. I don't have a ton of influence, which is what you use to buy stuff for your heroes. Um, but we can take a look and see if something we want to grab. Uh, yeah, nothing else I can really do here. Working on energy. I'm not going to worry about another tech priest quite yet. My loyalty is getting negative as well, and that's something I'm going to have to address. As my population goes up and the more cities I have, the loyalty decreases, so that causes a drag on your economy. Um, so I need to do some research on stuff that will help with that. But I think Manufactorum is a bit more important, probably. 
I knew this was going to be kind of difficult with the Imperial Guard. Um, I was kind of surprised I took out the Orcs fairly easily and that we've been doing okay. I thought for sure the Marines and the Necrons would be almost impossible to deal with. But we're doing okay. Could be a lot worse. Coming after me now. I just wiped out one of my heavy weapon squads like it was nothing. Hunter attack guardsman, a little bit of damage. Yeah, not not great. So I do have some range from here to hit some targets. I've got more crude hounds have shown up as well. That's a little irritating. Don't have frag grenades. Didn't I have a unit here? <laughs> I think the crude hounds ate my guys that were here. Um, I'm pretty sure there was a weak infantry unit there. Not a lot of damage, surprisingly, for the Basilisk. I thought we'd be doing a little better than that. 3.6 is not much for not moving. If I move, I'll do less damage, I think. Yeah, this is not looking very good. I'm going to get pushed out of this position, too, probably. For some reason, I've got line of sight from here with my Hydra, which is kind of odd. Okay, you've got frag grenades. So let's pull back and frag grenade these crude hounds. Not enough. Okay, here's the plan. Move them up. Do some repairs. Still not enough to kill the crew hounds, unfortunately. Pretty good damage against the Dreadnought here, surprisingly. Eight. Crack grenades would do 5.8, so it's a bit better just to shoot. Hit the crude hounds. Not quite enough to kill them off. Do a little bit there. See if we can do some damage to the dreadnought here before we get trashed. Fortunately, the hunter here isn't going to be super helpful either. Hopefully it's not going to get a bead on my basilisk or anything. Might have to pull back towards my city here just to kind of build up forces. I still haven't gone for the mobile holo projector. That's very weird. 
I thought for sure that would be kind of their main goal in the push down here, but they seem to kind of just ignored it once I moved up. Very odd. Necrons don't seem to be chasing me either. Okay, you guys heal where you're at. You guys heal where you're at. Try to leave them here for a little bit of protection still. Um, how about you heal where you're at? We're going to see if we can just kind of stay here hidden if possible. A little out of range. Anything we can do. I guess we'll just hang out, healing up a little bit on Overwatch. Hoping we can get the better of any engagement if something comes at us. But I'm kind of thinking these are going to head up that way to protect the city. Yeah, really my only option still is to build another Tech Priest. I'd like to have another one, it's just I don't have the energy for it. Once I have the other uh, Plasma Ionizer, more energy coming in, then we'll go ahead and go for that. Other cities working on head blocks. Okay. Things aren't going quite as I would have hoped. Could be a lot worse. Dreadnought's really trashing my guys. <laughs> okay. Very, very angry little lone crude hound there. Yeah, so we've got units on the move up here to crush my force up here. I'm just kind of rush through here instead. Do anything else? Uh, I do have a shot, actually. We can finish off the crude hounds, I suppose. Okay, more healing. You guys stay put and heal. I don't have a shot here. Gotta move up if I want to do that. Send in our stronger Hydra. Just do some shooting. Four. Crack grenade's actually less damage. It's not quite enough to kill it off. I'll have to use the other Hydra if I want to do that. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a good spot I can put him in. Yeah, I've got no line of sight, even with the heights here. I'd have to go right next to it. It's not exactly ideal. Let's do this first. Now we'll leave them there, just so we can finish them off. Let's move up. 
And I think an other armored stuff might be coming up through the forest here. No Necrons encroaching. Still holding this. They're not going after it, which is kind of surprising. Unfortunately, most of these guys are kind of banged up. Uh, my regular infantry guys I can use to scout, but they're not going to be much good or that useful. Let's just move up and see if we see anything. And that's not ideal. This Vindicator especially is really good at destroying vehicles. Um, it should be a little slow getting through the forest, so we're going to have to kind of move over a bit here, I think. I'd like to leave these guys here to protect them while they're healing up in case more Necrons show up. Uh, I'd like to leave at least one unit here on Overwatch. You guys also should be healing... Gonna move a couple guys up. Maybe we can draw some fire the other way. So they'll stay there, protect. And city, everything's set. Have our Lehman Russes researched soon. Go heavily armored main battle tank, the Lehman Russ. Lehman Russ battle tank is an ironclad declaration of might made manifest. They're the mainstay of the Imperial Guard's armored forces, lumbering slabs of armor and intolerance whose inexorable advance has ground a billion foes of the Imperium to bloody ruin. So we've got a LAS cannon with a range of three. We've got a battle cannon with a range of three. So nice long range, good damage. Arm penetration four on that, six on the LAS cannon. So yeah, definitely good. Good, good, good. Uh, research. I'll probably want to do some backtracking now. We kind of raced ahead to get to the Lehman Russ. Everything's going to take a while. Um, what are our options here? Range damage reduction to ground vehicles. That's quite good. Um, recovery gear. Increase healing rate for ground vehicles. That would be helpful. More damage for LAS weapons would be nice. The Imperial Bastion would be nice. That's only six. Increased damage we can give. Tank Commander, that's what I probably want. I always forget about the Edicts and stuff because it's kind of something unique to the Imperial Guard. I should look at that. Um, let's research Tank Commander. And while I'm thinking about it, up here... Yeah, let's increase our ore production for 10 turns. Why not? So that's pretty much all the city does. Population's increased to max. We're working on the head blocks. We'll have that next turn. Population here is increasing. Energy is going to be a bigger and bigger issue as we go forward here, but I've got the ore so we can start pumping out more of the uh, plasma ionizers for energy. Just need to increase my production, really, for my city. All right. Heal up the Hydra here. I'd like to get my artillery in range of the center of the city. So one, two, three, four, five, somewhere out here I'd need to be. Let's 
can't tell from there. Don't think that's close enough. Move over where we can, anyway. I mean, we'll do less damage, but we'll see. Unfortunately, Commissar isn't going to do me a whole lot of good here. Um, not fighting against Space Marines, anyway. Let's pull this unit back so we can heal them up. We'll put the other heavy weapon squad in that position. It's not showing that I have range because I, I don't think it's because I can't see the center of the city here. I do have a shot at the hunter here, but that means he'll have a shot at me. healing. And if I've got sight, then we can kind of do some long range shots, but um, right now we've got Overwatch, we've got Forest kind of blocking Terrain here is a little hard to tell where I'm going to be able to see from. I do have shots from here. But I think the hunter will get a shot at me when I move up. So for now I'm going to hold off on that. Don't have crack grenades. Well, I do have crack grenades with these guys. Could kind of suicidally run them in and throw some grenades. Found a bunch of stuff. What do we want to do? Do what little we can. Mainly just kind of using these guys as a distraction, so I'll pull them back if they start getting shoot up. Kind of vulnerable out here in the open, though. Looks like we've got a chaplain here as well. So zealous hero unit that raises morale and inspires loyalty. To meet the baleful gaze of a space marine chaplain is to know that death itself will soon follow. These terrifying warrior priests can be found wherever the fighting is thickest, inspiring their brothers to greatness with every thunderous blow and roared exhortation. Yep, yeah, not great. Not happy to see that. Got some Necrons creeping forward. Let's just reposition a little bit if they want to come forward and get some shots on them. Uh, you're at full health. Let's move you up just to see if they want to advance. We'll get some shots. You guys are healing. You guys are healing. Healing. And healing. Population here is maxed out. Still not doing anything. We'll have another Basilisk next turn, so that's good. Uh, we'll have our energy next turn. That'll help a little bit. So for now, that's fine. Let's keep an eye down here. Well, the Marines are moving around. Whole lot of shots. I don't know what happened there. Hearing a lot of 
shooting and gunfire, and I'm not happy about it. <laughs> okay. What happened? <laughs> right, Tried Praetorians showed up. Shot them up. Shot up the guardsmen. Uh, Vindicator attacked my guardsmen. Okay. Hydro attack the hunter. Good. Hydro attacked hunter. So we get a couple hydro shots off on that as it moved up instead of us getting shot. So that's helpful. Got more land speeders coming in. They're a bigger problem for my infantry. So we probably should go ahead and pull back. Let's move them up so we can repair up the Hydra that got hurt a little bit. Okay, hit them. Make sure you guys are healing. Healing, good. Some heavy weapon team in. I'd like to inch forward the uh, basilisk here. See if we can kill off this hunter here without using him. Not quite. So I'll have to finish him off. Got a decent amount of firepower there. We can take out one thing a turn anyway. Got some more units ready. All right, you guys don't need to pull back. Um, it's not a great position to be in. Got these Triarch Praetorians are definitely a problem. Grenade him. I'm pretty sure that's the unit there. One of the hero abilities that the Necrons have is that they can summon these Triarch Praetorians. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on, is that he's summoning the Triarch Praetorians and they're just getting into the combat. Kind of a free unit for him for a few turns. Sight. Let's move up into the edge of the ruins here. Um, they can stay on Overwatch. Let's run away with these guys. I'm going to go ahead and use their med kit as well. Uh, let's also run away here. Just kind of using them as scout primarily. I'm not want to put them at risk. If something moves forward, we'll get some overwatch shots here. Uh, just whether or not I want to use these guys or not. 2.6, 3.8. Stick. 
Still not enough to kill him, it looks like. Close. All right, made our plasma ionizer for more energy. Only a plus three though. Made a basilisk. So let's go with another Manufactorum. Requires 80 ore for the battle tank. We're doing pretty good on ore production though. Um, nine turns is quite a while. Yeah, let's go ahead and work on a battle tank, I guess. Um, still going to hold off on building one of the uh, tech priests. Just because we're running so tight on energy. So that'll do it for you guys. Um, you got the head block up. That's good. That means loyalty is going down. That's bad. That's good. And this is bad. And that's good. And this is bad. I would like a Manufactorum here as well. But I don't want to grab another tile if we want to do that, because I don't have spots. I only have the spots here for the ore production. So maybe we'll grab a tile. Nowhere is good for energy. There's a research tile, potentially. That might be something eventually we want to go for. Uh, three tile, that's... 20%. We'll just use that for any other buildings we want to make, so we'll just grab that first. And we'll worry about other things later. Okay. Well, more stuff coming in. Oh, we got a spider. It's a canoptic spider. It builds uh, cities for the Necrons. So we attacked the chaplain, did a little bit of damage. That was about it. Canoptic spider, a monstrous support unit that founds new cities. Though essentially an automated drone, a canoptic spider is nonetheless a formidable foe. Its vast arrays of self repair and backup systems, vital for enduring and caring millennia offers substantial protection against incoming fire. In return, any enemy that strays within reach of the Canoptic Spider will have flesh scoured from bone by a multitude of mechanical tools and pincers. It does actually have a pretty good uh, anti-vehicle weapon here, too. And the close combat, the arm penetration 6, so it's got to get close up and do it. But uh, They're kind of weak against vehicles and stuff, but if you have heavy armored targets, they're kind of useful as just sort of spam unit. Uh, not looking great. So the Necrons might actually be going for the mobile holo projector here. Let's move up my slow guys here. Did make another heavy weapon squad. There, the heavy weapon squad, there. Yeah, so I think I need to send somebody forward to kind of scout. If I can get line of sight on the center of the city, we might really get some long-range shots on it. There might be something out here. Let's just creep ahead and see if we see anything. Okay. Guys are still healing, we're still healing. I hate to use the infantry to send forward. Don't know if I'd have sight from here. Yep. Okay, so from here we do have sight. You are not within range. But I am from there, so let's move you back there.
Not very much damage. Let's go ahead and take the shot with them. Tiny, tiny dent. Got shots from there, even though it's a forest. So might as well. Kind of move up to sort of protect the artillery here in the back in case something shows up. Um, you guys can stay put. You guys can stay put and heal for now. A lot of Necrons showing up here, which doesn't make me super happy. Don't have any sight. Line of sight to not much of anything here, unfortunately. Could crack grenade a spider, do a little bit of damage if we want. It's not really good position since I'm trying to protect these guys and have them heal up. Got Marines on one side and Necrons on the other. It's just not an ideal spot to be in. Even moving up, we don't have a lot of good positions. Don't necessarily mind if they run into each other and fight. Maybe it's time to just bug out. A little worried if I stay here, these guys might get killed off. I can go ahead and heal them up if I want to. Let's pull back and use medic packs. Anywhere, if I kind of stay and fight, I'm probably going to get killed off. Pull the weak guys back. I really wish the heavy weapon squads had the medipacks as well. It makes it hard to keep them alive when they're lacking some of the tools my regular infantrymen have. So for now, we're just going to sort of retreat a bit. I don't really want them to be able to grab this, though. At least not easily. Yeah, let's just run away. Brave guard, bravely running away. Seeding ground constantly. Uh, they can stay on overwatch. You can stay on overwatch. But if he moves up and kind of instantly makes a city here, it's going to be a bit of a problem. 
we'll definitely have to take off then. Uh, what are we not doing? We're not building heavy weapon squad. Let's get on that. Necrons are always repairing, which is a problem. Some shots on the spider. Almost killed it, actually. That's pretty good. Right, lost the mobile hollow projector. Everybody's health goes down. A lot of gunfire going on over there. What happened over here? Jeez. Um, Hydra got banged up. Have open squads almost dead. So Great Hall attacked Hydra. Hydra attacked the Dreadnought. Dreadnought attacked the heavy weapon squad, nearly killed him. Predator attacked Hydra. Scout bikers attacked the Hydra. Wonderful. Yeah, so the Necrons have this now. That's quite bad. Okay, let's kill off the spider. No city for you. <laughs> We're winning. We're winning. Uh, maybe. Let's take this back. Guess we can take some shots. You guys stay there and heal. You guys stay there and heal. Uh, you guys keep running for now. What do we want to do with you guys? Guess we can do a little bit of range damage. I'll leave them here in Overwatch in case something comes this way. They've got three range, so they've got a lot of open area we can take shots at. Um, you will kind of leave there just to kind of keep an eye on things. Kind of shots from there. I do have shots from here. Kind of an open spot, though. Pull back and heal up. Then we can light up the dreadnought. Kind of getting myself in position for next turn or later. Guess we'll keep hitting the dreadnought here. Staying put's probably not a super great idea. These guys will definitely have to take off. Artillery. 
Yeah, let's keep hitting the dreadnought. We have coming another basilisk. Another heavy weapon squad. Commissar is not really going to do me a whole lot of good. Maybe okay in close combat against heavy targets, but that's about it. Don't have a lot of health though. Reposition over, give more accuracy to people nearby. Uh, you guys run away. Still have line of sight, that's not great. Means he can see me. So he's probably going to go after them and kill them off, or somebody else to take shots at him. That's it, unfortunately. I have to do something about my loyalty here at some point, but we'll have to do some research first, I think. So that's it. We'll have another Commissar next turn, but that doesn't really do me a whole lot of good. Uh, other city is working on grabbing a tile still. Here comes the giant horde. Oh, Hydra dead. And the heavy weapon squad's down. Yeah, this is not going well. Tank Commander, tank your unit with formidable strengths and also boosts nearby allied tank units. Tank Commander rides to battle in the cupola of a mighty Lemurus battle tank. His grizzled of men are virtually one with their machine, possessing an implicit knowledge of armored warfare in all its forms. The average tank commander is a steely-eyed ace heading up a crew of the very best their regiment has to offer. Definitely need them as soon as possible. Predator attack Hydra. Yeah. I don't think holding on here is a sustainable thing. I can take out the Dreadnought, probably. Yeah, I can do some damage, but it's not enough. It's taking too long to build units and get them down here. Did make another Commissar. I guess you can have the other Armor Class Bracers. It's fine. To level him up. Uh, I do like the increased accuracy, so we'll go with that. Uh, bring it down. Now let's actually go ahead and use that. the Hydra. Now that's a bit more damage. Let's see what we want to do here. 2.2, crack grenades, 4.7. Yeah, let's go for that. No sight from there. It's not great. Yeah, this Vindicator is a vehicle destroyer as well. Don't like having that around. I kind of feel like I need to do something land speeders, they're gonna chew up my infantry. 
only got you guys left, and that's it for other firing. And you're banged up. Oh, great. That's wonderful. So we could grenade and kill off the scout bikes, or we can kill off the dreadnought. Still have my artillery. No, I don't. Do I still have? I still have you guys. That's who I've got. I'd like to hit the land speeders with them instead. So let's finish off the dreadnought here, hopefully. Hammer the land speeders. Can't get in range of anything here, unfortunately. So we still have the commissar. We could send him against the bike squad. Should be able to kill them off, probably. Puts him in kind of a dangerous position. Okay, that could have been a lot worse. Um, unfortunately, I'm kind of out of time for what I wanted to do today, so I'm probably just going to finish up my unit activations for the turn and set my city production, and then we'll kind of have to stop. You know, it's kind of at a bad spot because I've got kind of this big fight going on. I don't think this is a fight I can win quite yet. Once I get some more stuff down here, I think we can do it. Right now, we're kind of in a precarious spot, especially having lost my other Hydra there and having Vindicator and a Predator both here that can take out vehicles. That's going to be a bit of a problem. Necron's really pulled back. I might be able to get in and re-grab the hollow projector, actually. Let's just head down and see if we see anything. Nope. Yeah, I could potentially grab it, like, right now. Oh, we found somebody. These guys are kind of in a bad position now. So we might want to move in to sort of protect them a little bit. We have frag grenades here still free. If we move up, we'll get shot up a bit, though. Uh, you do not have anything free, so maybe we can absorb some shots with you. It's your job in the guard. Absorb gunfire. Them, see what kind of damage we can get. Nice. Okay, you need to heal up. You guys are healing, healing. 
just you guys left. I'd like to come lend some aid out here, um, but I kind of want to stay hidden a little bit in the process. So kind of hang out in the forest there. Okay, I made another commissar. Already took care of him. Population increased. Now we can work on a tank commander if possible. It's a pretty good chunk of ore, but we've got it. Um, the upkeep is actually going to push me into negatives on my influence, so that's not great. It takes forever to build them, too. Uh, let's go ahead and do it, because it's going to be nine turns. By then, we might have some more coming in, or we might be able to uh, build up enough stock that it's not going to matter quite as much. He's going to be a bit more useful than anything else I can do. So working on the Manufactorum, that'll speed up my buildings for any vehicle units and stuff. Um, heavy Weapon Squad. I wouldn't mind necessarily building up another Imperial Barracks so I can get the Heavy Weapon Squads faster, too. You guys grab the tile out here. I do want to build a Manufactorum here as well. It does require energy. I don't really have any spare energy. Everything requires energy, or it requires energy. Definitely need more energy coming in. Um, maybe we can do that out here. We'll just throw some energy first before we do anything else. We'll worry about everything after that. And then here you're fine. Go to research. What do we want? Building increases loyalty. That's probably something that would be useful, so let's work on that. Probably the increased uh, hotshot laser power packs might be more useful since we're doing a lot of fighting, but I don't have a huge number of just regular infantry, just a few, so it's not quite that much of an improvement. So I am pretty concerned here about my Hydra and my Basilisk. Hopefully where they're at, um, only the Hydra is really at risk. The Basilisk is what I'm a bit more concerned about holding on to. Uh, the Vindicator here is going to be a bit of an issue. And we've got another Basilisk coming down, so hopefully if we got a couple of them we can set up a good position with artillery just to be pounding stuff. Uh, but he's throwing a lot of units at me. I can't really get in range of the center of the city to just be shelling the city and ignoring the units because then I'll just get overrun and wiped out. But I think that's going to have to be it for today, unfortunately, uh, just because of time issues and stuff. Probably tomorrow I'll be able to do a little bit more. Um, we'll have a little bit more time, too, hopefully. I'll definitely be continuing. I still have to work on this uh, storyline stuff. Uh, all I need to do is just build a couple cogitator stations, and they do increase influence, so that's something I have to do for the storyline. Um, so that's something we'll get to at some point, but we're kind of busy fighting a massive war against forces that are a bit tougher than me. I'm also a bit behind on research, I feel like, so hopefully with the increased production, we'll do a little better. Space Marines are limited to just one city, so I'm kind of feeling like going against them is a bit more my speed. Um, I'd like to leave it open so that the Necrons and the Space Marines could end up fighting each other instead of fighting me, but I don't think that's really going to happen. I'm kind of stuck in the middle here. Partially terrain as well, because there's a lot of open stuff, so open terrain is more helpful for me because of longer ranges. Uh, it won't matter so much for the artillery, but for the tanks and hydras and stuff and my heavy weapon squads, it's more beneficial for me. But anyway, let's go ahead and save it before anything else crazy happens. What did I just do? <laughs> um, All right, that'll be it for today. So thanks very much for checking things out. If you're interested in uh, earlier streams where I played the Necrons or the uh, Orcs, the stuff is now up on my YouTube channel. It's not up here on Twitch anymore. Uh, you can check that out. It's also Disturbing Puppet there, which is one word. So I've got other games and things I've played there, other streams. Pretty much everything I'll put up there eventually. So thanks for hanging out. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Have a good one.